Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to talk to you about the tools you need for your roofing starter kit. This is for people who are looking to maybe do a small project uh, like a dog house, a shed, maybe a pretty standard roof that's not complicated where you need more tools, but I'm gonna just talk about the main things that I would recommend if I were gonna take on a DIY roofing project. First and foremost, uh, you gotta have somewhere to put the tools while you're working. It's really important uh, to have some kind of tool belt because you don't wanna have to be carrying around in your pockets. You don't wanna be running across the roof or running places to grab your tools off the ground. It's inefficient and frustrating. Second off, I would talk about safety, right? I talk about having good gloves because when you're doing your tear off, it's not gonna be fun if you have bare hands unless you have extremely callous hands. I would suggest getting a good pair of gloves. I like these because they're Kevlar. Um, and they're just awesome. Another tool that you're gonna need, you need to cut your shingles when you're installing, right? Utility blades with hook, hook blades on them. And that's an important part. Make sure you have a hook blade because you're gonna be able to hook and pull through. If you're using a straight blade, you're just gonna be sliding and cutting on that. Straight blades have a place with siding and other projects, um, but typically with roofing, you want a hook blade. And my recommendation for a utility blade is not necessarily this Dewalt blade, given I do like it. Um, I would suggest something that's really quick and easy to open and close. I would suggest something that has a quick button to release your blade for quick switch outs. And I would suggest one that has a storage spot for your blades, like this one does here. So when you do need to replace one, which you will, you can grab it right away. So when you're cutting any metals on your roof, such as any flashings, uh, drip edge, this, that, the other thing, or even shingles if you wanted to, I wouldn't suggest it, but you want a good pair of tin snips. Given these are a little bit uh, smaller, they make some bigger ones, um, but these would get you by. Some pretty basic tin snips to cut your edging. Next thing is, an, is a chalk line. Chalk line because you, also, you need to be making sure your lines are straight where you're racking and stacking your shingles, and you wanna do some verification and snapping lines for cutting things. So like on the edge of your roof, you're gonna wanna use this to make sure the edge of the shingles where you cut them is clean and flush and looking good from the ground. Hammers, choosing the right hammer. Um, we'll have a follow-up video on how to choose a hammer for roofing, but my two cents is don't get something too, too heavy. You don't need a super fancy hammer and just make sure your claw is not overly curved because mo a lot of the time, a big use of your hammer is gonna be pulling nails. So you don't wanna be having to go like this. It's more motion, it's um, inefficient. Last thing too that I wanna get on the basic toolkit for starting a roofing project is obviously a tape measure. Although a lot of people like to wing it with roofing and pros who have done it for many years um, may know how to overhang things properly in that. But if you're doing a roofing project as a DIY first time, use a tape measure, measure things, read your instructions. So this is overall a very basic starter kit to do a roofing project uh, as a DIY homeowner. This does not include all the variances and nuances that you might run into with a more complicated project. This is just enough to get by with hand pounding nails and stuff like that. Take a chance, do the project yourself. And when you realize that you don't wanna do your whole house, give a pro a call. Um, we'd be happy to be that pro resource here at North Face Construction. Thanks for watching. I hope I provided you value today.